Hi guys and welcome to episode 8 of the Catholics vlog. Um, so the last video I told you about me having the Mercedes ML um, and I really I liked it. There's a few things I missed out by the way. Um, it was automatic. The gearboxes on the Mercedes are absolutely brilliant. Seven speed. It was the first automatic I'd ever had. Semi-automatic. You had the buttons on the back of the steering wheel if you wanted to use them, but I never did. Um, but yeah, it was a, it was a great car. Um, the only thing I needed, I didn't realise I needed this, was that little bit more space. Um, because I went touring in Europe quite a lot, then. I needed a tiny bit more space. I don't think anyone else would need as much space as I do. Um, but I didn't want to put a roof box on it. I didn't want to start messing about with all that. So, and, and the other thing as well, there was a few things it didn't have that I wish it did. So, the ML had just normal suspension. I wanted the air suspension. Um, I wanted a sunroof. I wanted a different colour interior. It, it was a nice car, but I wish I got a higher spec. So, this brings me on to my next car, which is the Mercedes GL. Now, the Mercedes GL, which is the car that I currently own, is um, the bigger brother to the ML. So, it, it's basically a seven-seater version um, with electric fall-up and down seats in the boot. But when you put the seven seats down, it is enormous the boot and I mean enormous and the car is enormous I'll probably save a lot of the specs for a, a car review that I'm going to be doing when I get some time um, I'm currently doing a lot of work on my house at the minute so time is uh, limited that's why I do a lot of these videos on the way to work but uh, anyway I wanted the daddy of GL so I searched for about three months until I found one that had everything, so um, air suspension. I think all the GLs have air suspension anyway. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, I searched everywhere because I wanted a sunroof. I wanted TVs in the back. I wanted electric everything. Um, I wanted a light colour interior. Colour-wise, I wasn't too bothered either black or silver. They look nice in both. Um, went for silver because it's a little bit easy to maintain with kids and dings and scratches and what have you. Um, so yeah, I searched and searched and I finally found one in, um, in Newcastle. So I had a conversation with a guy who was an auto trainer. It was quite well priced. I think it was up for seven and a half or something around that. Anyway, um, I got on the train and I went all the way down. Excuse me, the sun's really bright today. Went all the way down to or up to Newcastle and got it. And it was um, it was a really nice motor. It had a little, had a few gremlins, which I, I kind of knew about before, but I used that to confirm the price of it before I went to collect it. So I did knock some money off of it. I think I knocked it down to seven. Like I said, I will go through the faults that it had. Nothing too major. And yeah, I went and got it, and um, it, it's, it, it's an incredible motor. It, it takes everything that you'd ever need for a family car, you know. Um, but <laughs> they are expensive to run, just bear that in mind. But like I said, I'll go into all the details. It was the same engine. The one I've got is a 320. It's a GL320 CDR, it's the same engine as the, the ML, uh, so it's got plenty of grunt. Uh, but the fuel economy is slightly slightly worse because obviously it's a lot bigger car. I think it weighs I think it weighs two and a half ton. I'll have to investigate that. But yeah, but it is oh, with all the extras and everything and the um, air suspension, it is it just glides, it's so comfortable, it's so smooth. It's got everything you need for a family that you could ever wish for. It's like in a living, it's like being in a living room on wheels. It's brilliant, and the kids love it. The kids absolutely love it. 
Uh, but yeah, I highly recommend. But please bear in mind if you're going to have a look at these cars, it's the high tax bracket, so you're going to be paying uh, £500 a year tax, which is roughly about £50 a month in road tax. And it's slightly worse than the ML because it's heavier on fuel. So you're looking at about 22 average consumption, 22 to the gallon. But we don't care. We, you know, we have this car, which is a Citroen DS, which is really good on fuel. This does 60 to the gallon all day long. Uh, we use this mainly. But when we're going out with the kids and that, jumping the GL, we don't mind paying the extra. So highly recommend that. But keep your um, keep your, your your eyes peeled for a, a car review. I will be doing on that eventually uh, when I've got a bit more time. But time sticking on I'm aware of time so again thanks for watching please like and subscribe on the videos and I will see you on the next one see you later bye